Thanks Pivot for explaining this section. It was quite informative and we learned about a couple more AWS services. Let's have a quick recap and mention quickly the key points to remember for the exam. Remember, there are two approaches to run a database on AWS. Either, you set it up manually on an EC2 and manage it in the same way exactly as on-premises or to run it as a managed service. There are different ways to classify databases, but the most popular approach is to classify them into relational and non-relational databases. Remember the differences between the data structures of both. Amazon RDS is a managed relational database service from AWS. It allows you to automate many of the administrative tasks on your database servers. There are six different engines supported by RDS, from commercial license-based databases to open-source license-free servers. One of them is Amazon Aurora, which is cloud-native and offers high-performance and enterprise features while being based on open-source engine. It replicates your data six times across three AZs. Amazon DynamoDB is a managed serverless non-relational database service from AWS. It structures the data in the form of key-value pairs. It can deliver single-digit millisecond performance t any scale. It can tolerate over 10 trillion requests per day. DMS is a service you can use to migrate your databases to AWS. Redshift is a managed data warehouse service from AWS for data analytics and big data. Amazon Document DB is a managed MongoDB service. Amazon Neptune is another database engine for data sets that are highly related, as in social media applications. It uses GraphQL instead of SQL. Amazon Quantum Ledger Database is a ledger based database, through which you can review the history and the changes to your data. ElastiCache is a caching layer inserted in front of your database to improve the read performance. Can be used with any database engine. While DynamoDB Accelerator is a solution only for DynamoDB to improve the read performance to be in the range of microseconds.